Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon, and today I have a lava cannon for you. Basically what this does is it sucks up lava you put in front of it, puts it into a bucket, and puts it into a chest, just like this. Now, so I can just place that lava down like that, see it gets sucked up, and gets put in um, buckets down there. Now this can be really useful if you're in the nether, and you can use this for some sort of, going into some sort of furnace system. So you can basically clear out a nether pond, lava, stick it all into this really really quickly and cook up loads of stuff. Now this design I made after seeing uh, Readem's design which is here and I basically took the same principles from this uh, bud powering the dropper and detecting the signal strength coming out of the dropper as well, Spencer, and that's basically how I did it. And I just squashed it down to a really tiny space and ended up with this. Now, the way this works is, at the moment this dispenser here is bud powered by this block here diagonally, which is getting powered from this um, dot redstone, it's being powered by this comparator, which is being powered because there's a bucket in here. And now, this being turned on also serves the function of holding this hopper off, so no buckets can flow through more than is needed into here. And also, there's a torch around here which is holding this hopper off which means none of the lava buckets will keep flowing out of there and it won't suck any buckets out of here. So when I place the bucket in front of this, this is going to fire because it realises it's being powered directly from here, which is going to suck up the lava like that. And now what that also means is, is that's now going to become a lava bucket. So the signal strength will increase, so I'll come to here, which will turn off this torch which is going to let that lava bucket flow out and because the lava bucket here flow out because this hop is turned off and it's also going to let this lava bucket go into here and now that's mean there's going to be nothing left inside of this um, dropper so the comparator is going to turn off which is going to make this block depower it's going to let one bucket flow through back down into here an empty one and then of course that's going to power the comparator again and hold it all off and reset the device so it's pretty simple and uh, very simplified version of this. Now you can do this quite quickly, you just have to wait for this torch to turn back on every time and you can do it like that really quick and get loads of lava. Now inevitably at some point you're going to accidentally do something like that and you're going to update this dispenser without there being any lava in front of it and it's going to spit out the bucket like that. Now in the event of that happening all you have to do is you need to power this hopper at the same time as powering this redstone dust here that can be done with a button with a block on like that do that and it's all reset you just end up with a few empty buckets coming through the system as it resets but now as you can see they're completely redone so now I'm going to go to tutorial and show you how to build it so I'm going to start off with my full like this and my dispenser here at floor level with hop underneath and this is going to take all the lava buckets you get off into an output and you can have it into a chest like this or you can pipe it off to some sort of system like I said earlier so to start off with I'm going to place a hop on top like that I'm going to place a block there and up like that in a triangle shape with a comparator coming out of there and redstone dust on top of there now we're going to place two blocks there, redstone along there again, put a torch there, and then block off that redstone like that, and you're done basically. And alternately, also if you want the reset button like I had here, just place a block there with a button on it, and make sure not to put any um, solid block on here, otherwise you'll cause a burn out of that torch, you can put glass or if you want to hide it, you can put a stair like this and it'll just look like there's a full block in the space. Right now to set it up what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lava bucket and I'll get some empty buckets. Now I'm going to fill this up with a load of normal buckets. You can see one of them has flown out already, gone into this dispenser and activated that and stopped any more flowing into it. And we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Now it should be good to go, so if I place my lava here, it sucks it up, 
we've got lava coming out of there, another new bucket in there, and we've taken one bucket from there. So really simple and done. And also remember if this does run out of storage space, wherever you're storing the magic chest or something, the lava will not be sucked up and it will start to spill about the place, so remember to quickly clear it up and press your reset button. So thank you for watching, I hope you find this device useful. Um, put any comments down if you need any help with this and it doesn't work for you and I'll happily help you out with that. And also leave a like if you liked it. Thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon.